We at Solent University developed the Master in Sustainable Building Design as we see a big need for a profound change in the building design response to sustainability challenges. In order to get our master students to adopt that level of response, we have to collaborate with the carefully selected industry partners. We decided to collaborate with Brightspace Architects as a design practice that has a very strong portfolio of successful projects. Their user-centered approach goes very well with our academic vision. We've given them probably for the last five years at least one life brief um, to make sure that we maintain that contact and they gain the benefit from kind of our professional uh, expertise. In the brief we have to build uh, around 200 uh, studios. Uh, provide some uh, commercial facilities, some libraries, some uh, um, facilities for the resident themselves. The life brief gives it that little sense of realism um, and that particular one is just up the road from here. Um, we encourage them to come out, um, do site analysis with us. The brief was really interesting and quite a challenge for us all to work on to be fair. It's very current in terms of the typology of the building so it's a, a private rented model um, and that means that they're kind of at the forefront of the way that the industry is thinking so there's a lot of data out there at the moment that they can kind of pick through and identify how this particular type of building works within like a bigger urban scale. As a team we decided to have a boat shaped building because it made sense to us Titanic, Southampton, the cruise right, liners are right there, you know, the port is right next to us. So we just went with a boat shaped building. We decided to go with the retail space so the building will have like a better return of investment. So we came up with the surf centre, which was the only place in the UK that has a surf centre is in Bedford. So it was going to be a landmark already because we had a new leisure centre that was not around the area. I've previously been in education courses which are solely academic and that doesn't help us because you don't have the real life experience and you need that real life experience to be able to adapt to the models that you've got, adapt to the scenarios that you've got. By writing the brief with architects we set our students a realistic and very meaningful challenge. We see these students coming through and since our first uh, students coming through about five years ago We've almost, in, I think almost without fail, every year we've had a Solent, ex-Solent uh, student as one of our employees. Actually teach students and, and prepare them for the real world and I honestly believe that was the best choice for me because now I know what's going to happen out there. <laughs> the project in itself is an amazing project. It's, it's, it's ability to have that kind of interaction with a fake site as such. The concept around it is to provide the opportunity to allow people to work through the system or work through the requirements that you actually need, which is, which is great. The biggest thing that I've learned from this project is teamwork. So we had to work with international students as well. So it was different viewpoints which came together. Like it's not just one way of thinking, which helped in which helped to open up my mind like in a really broad way. I'd like to see where we'd be able to develop it from now with the feedback that we've all got. I like the ability that we've got some clever scenarios that we've got and clever aspects. We'll take those forward and then we'll get a design at the other end that hopefully suits the requirement.